What you'll need is, um, is a chair because we're going to do most of the stretches um, on a chair. We're going to do three different stretches and we're going to rotate through those three times um, for 50 seconds each and we'll get like a 10 second transition. Now, before I show you the three stretches, um, what I want to go over is actually the positioning of your pelvis because, um, you know, like where you sit on, like some of the people will describe this as your sit bones, um, because it's going to be really important to making sure you get a full stretch. When you're sitting, what ends up happening is that your pelvis kind of starts to tuck underneath you and your back starts to round. And then, you know, before you know it, you're kind of, you know, all, all hunched over. Now, what we need to focus on though is the position that the pelvis is in. So place your hands on the, um, like kind of right where your pockets are. So my hands are like right here. Now, what, what I want you to try to do is we're first going to tuck the pelvis. So meaning that we're going to round the back. So if you see me from the side, so you see how I'm rounding my back. Now, if you're looking at my pubic bone, then that means that that is coming forward. And then it's called posterior rotation because my pelvis is coming, um, is rotating back this way. So the top here is going like this, okay? So this is posterior rotation. So that's like when I'm kind of rounded like this in my back. And then there's anterior rotation or like a forward tilt to your pelvis. So here you're going to rotate forward. So it'll, it'll almost feel like you're kind of sticking your butt out. This is a forward tilt or called anterior rotation. Okay, so let's go back and forth a little bit. So you're going to tuck. This is posterior rotation. Go forward, anterior rotation. So you see how I'm moving just my pelvis. So I'm not doing, well, I'm not doing anything. I'm not trying to get it to move from anywhere else other than my pelvis moving, okay? Now, this is important because if you're gonna stretch the back of the leg, so if you're gonna stretch the hamstring or the glute, you need to get a forward rotation. You need to get this forward tilt of the pelvis in order to facilitate that stretch. So you wanna be, so it's like you're sticking your butt out like this, okay? So we're first gonna start with um, a seated hamstring stretch. So when I'm here, you see how if I'm tucked like this, I'm not gonna get a good stretch. I really need to focus on making sure that I'm rotating my pelvis forward and then I'm going to lean forward. We're going to do 25 seconds on each side, okay? Now, if you're kind of tucked and then you're just bending down, you're not going to get a stretch. You need to move this whole part of your pelvis over your thigh, okay? We're going to do 25 seconds on each side. Then you're going to sit, you're going to cross your right leg over your left, and then you're going to rotate your pelvis forward. So from the front, it will look like this. Okay, so cross that leg and then you're gonna lean forward. We'll do 25 seconds on each side. Then you're gonna hop off of the chair and we're gonna do a half kneeling hip flexor stretch. It's going to look like this. Now, because I'm stretching the front of my leg, I'm stretching the, the down leg, that now you need a posterior rotation. So you need a tuck of the pelvis. So you're gonna be here and then you're gonna tuck your pelvis, okay? So when I'm stretching the front of my leg, um, I'm tucking my pelvis. Then when I'm stretching the back of my leg, I'm doing a tilt. I'm rotating forward, okay? All right, we have plenty of time to, to try this out. We're gonna first start that seated hamstring stretch. All right, in three, two, one, go. So now my right leg is in front of me. It's nice and straight. I'm rotating my pelvis forward. I'm keeping my spine um, in, one, in one line. I'm not letting it round and I'm going to lean forward. You should feel a stretch in the back of the leg. Bring your toes back toward you, and also try to make sure that the toes aren't pointing out to the side. The toes should be pointing straight up, okay? And then switch sides. So now the left side. Now, same idea, the left leg is straight. I'm trying to rotate my palm forward. So it's like I'm trying to stick my butt out as much as I can. Good, 13 seconds. Sometimes people like to think of what the, what the sacrum is doing. So in this case, the sacrum should be like starting to point up like this toward the back of the chair to get a little bit more of a stretch. Good. And now you're gonna cross your um, right leg over your left. You're gonna sit as upright as you can, just like this. Good, and then lean forward. So I'm just crossing my right leg over my left. I'm not worrying about pushing this knee down. 
I'd rather have you guys focus on rotating forward. So you see how, I'll move my arm out of the way. So you see how I'm really just trying to make sure my back is staying flat, so I'm not doing this, okay? I'm really trying to, it's like I'm trying to sit at the very edge of the chair. That will also help too. Good, and switch sides. You'll probably find that one side feels a little bit tighter than the other. That's totally normal. Try to rotate that pelvis forward as much as you can. So I like to put my hands kind of where my pockets are. So when I'm rotating my pelvis forward, that means my pubic bone is going down and it's like I'm kind of closing down the space in the pockets of my, of um, where my hands would be. Good, now we'll do a half kneeling hip flexor stretch. So right knee down, left foot down. I'm going to um, tuck my pelvis. Good, so I'm gonna tuck my pelvis and squeeze my glutes. So from the side, I'll show you guys. So from here, what I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to make sure that I'm squeezing this glute on this right hand side and I'm, and I'm leading with my hip coming forward. So I'm not just straightening my knee, I'm focusing on my hip coming forward. So it's like I'm trying to push right where my glute and thigh needs to go forward. And switch sides. So now I'm crossing, um, I'm, my right foot is down on the ground, tucking my pelvis, squeezing my glute. So now you see here, you see how it's the exact opposite motion. So this is a tilt. You see how I'm kind of arching my back? This is a tuck. So I'm really trying to open up this space in the front part of my hip. Good. And now back to the seated hamstring stretch. So now I'm here, my right leg forward. Good, so I'm sitting right at the edge. And now I'm going to rotate my pelvis forward. So it's like I'm sticking my butt out. You might feel a little arch in your back because when you rotate your pelvis forward, it creates um, a lumbar extension. So like that arching of the back, that is really helpful sometimes. Only go to the point where you feel it stretching. Don't overdo this. Good, and switch sides. So like, I would rather have you guys have your spine totally straight. So if I put um, like a dowel on the back of your head, middle back and sacrum, and sacrum, you'd be in one line. So I'm not rounding from my, from my middle back. Five seconds. Good. And now cross the right leg over the left. I'm sitting as upright as I can. I'll show you guys from the front here. So see, so I'm really trying to focus on rotating that pelvis forward. So it's like my pubic bone is going down toward the, um, toward the ground. And it's like, I'm trying to create a little bit of an arch in my back. It's like, you're kind of trying to stick your butt up. I'm not worrying about pushing this leg down um, because I'd rather just focus on making sure I'm getting that stretch in that glute. Good, and switch sides. Cross the left leg over the right. Rotate that pelvis forward as much as you can. Good, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Three seconds, and then we'll do the half kneeling hip flexor stretch. Good. Now I'm gonna do the right leg first. So I'm down on my right knee, my left foot is forward. So of the down leg, this is the one that I'm stretching. Now, if I'm starting with my back way too arch, I'm not gonna feel a stretch. So I really have to try to scoop my pelvis underneath me. So it's like, if you wanna think about it from your sacrum, your sacrum is like coming toward the front, uh, like where your left foot is. You're gonna squeeze that glute and press that right shin down to get a little bit more of a stretch. Good, and switch sides. Try to stay as upright as you can because with all of these stretches, I'll show you from this side. With all of these stretches, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the stretch from moving our thigh and our pelvis, not just our thigh, because the, the, um, the stretch is going to come from moving both of the bones of the joint. Three seconds. Good. Last time through hamstring stretch. So that's what I was saying. The pelvis and the femur need to both move in order to get more of a stretch. Last time hamstring stretch. So in this case, obviously the, um, 
my left leg is straight. So when my left, sorry, when my right leg is straight, what's happening is that that's inherently going to stretch my hamstring. But what we also have to do is we have to get that movement coming from the pelvis as well to get a little bit more. Good, and switch sides. This is really great to do um, throughout the day. Even if you can't do the half kneeling hip flexor stretch, it's really helpful for um, just kind of loosening up those muscles throughout the day because you know, if you think about it, you spend a lot of time sitting. So this is something you can do that's quick and easy just to make sure you're maintaining some of that flexibility. Three seconds. Good, last time, piriformis stretch. So figure four stretch, cross your right leg over your left. Good, and then come on forward. So this is another one that you can do um, that is really helpful for like if you have any um, issue with uh, like when you're driving, if your hip hurts, if your low back hurts, this is something that these external rotators in the hip, these like tiny muscles get super tight from sitting. So this is a really good one to do throughout the day. And then switch sides. It's also one of those ones that you find um, people are pretty asymmetrical with that it's like they're mostly um, like one side could be totally fine and you look at the other one and it's like very, very different. And again, this is so accessible to be able to do. The biggest thing is making sure you hold it long enough. So you need to make sure you hold the stretch for at least, at least 20 seconds, ideally about 30. Last time, half kneeling hip flexor stretch. So my right knee is going to be down, tuck my pelvis, squeeze my glute. Now, the thing with sitting is that so often our hip flexors get super tight. So we stretch our quads, but we don't stretch these muscles that are like right at the top part of the, um, of the pelvis. So this one really highlights that. And you want to make sure that again, you're tucking the pelvis, squeezing that glute so you feel that stretch in the front. You also want to make sure you're not turning open because if you're turning open, you won't feel it either. Good. And then switch sides. This is our last time through it, guys. Tuck that pelvis, press that thigh down, uh, press the, um, the tibia down, the shin bone down. It's like you're trying to stand up. 10 seconds. You're five seconds away from looser hips. Good. All right, nice work, guys. Um, if For something like this, especially if you have a job that requires you to sit a good bit, this is something that if you did this um, every day, every other day, three times through for this like quick, it's nine minutes, um, it's going to make a huge difference. So give it a try. Join me next week um, for our next weekly recovery session.